Hello everyone and welcome back. Just uh, got back here from the tent and uh, actually when I, I went from the work trailer to here, picked up my dad's four-wheeler uh, yesterday morning and then went straight up to the tent, didn't even go inside the house. So I had uh, food in here and stuff that's still frozen from the work trailer and from the tent and now I'm just getting things put away and then I'll be here today, tomorrow and then the following day I'll be heading back to the camper. feed the chickens pretty much everything that's <laughs> left over from the kitchen or whatever. Well, I guess that one is gone. Work clothes from last week, or I guess earlier this week. It was so hot this week that <laughs> these need to be washed.
I've just been going around and mowing the tall spots where the grass is taller and then along the fence line there where the ferns were coming in same with back here uh, there's no real there's, there's I mean I could mow the whole entire yard but there's no real rain this whole next week again so I'm just getting the tall stuff knocking it down so that when the time does come to mow everything it's not all clumping up in these areas that have a lot of clover and stuff in them Melissa just got home from work and uh, tomorrow we're planning on going to the St. Louis, South St. Louis County Fair, which is just a small fair, like the Minneapolis State Fair has over a million people that come to it. And this one here, they have a 16,000 attendance over the days, so it'll be smaller, but hopefully we can get some fair food anyway. <laughs> Okay everyone, right now it's about just a couple minutes after 9 o'clock and just in there sitting with Melissa. I'm doing comments from videos that I have posted and uh, that's it for outside today. Tomorrow hopefully we're going to go to that little fair and I'll bring my camera with me. Good morning everybody. More hazy sunshine due to the Canada forest fires up there supposed to be pretty bad. We're under a air alert now and today is Saturday and we're under an alert until Tuesday. I'm all showered and ready to go to the fair. Melissa's going to be jumping into the shower shortly and I suppose in an hour or so we'll take off. I've got a new pair of Skechers on. Hope she can keep up. Is that what it says? Is first place Holly Morrison on Spartan. Look at those little ones. <laughs> the end ones, they must be like oh. miniatures or whatever. We have Dennis running the course again. Well, we got back from the fair, and then I've just been hanging out for an hour and a half or so inside with Melissa. That fair was, it was horrible. I mean, we got there to have lunch. None of the food vending stuff opened until noon. And which, I mean, who has a fair where the food stuff doesn't open until noon? And I wanted to get, the whole reason I went there, I wanted to get a pork chop on a stick. And those people opened up almost a half hour late, maybe 20 minutes late at least. And then, so we're in line in the one and then the other one opens, so then I go over there, we finally get up to the window, and they said pork chops will be an additional 45 minute wait. Uh, I was, I had already left the other line because when we got up there, what was it that we wanted? Oh, she wanted pulled pork nachos or something. And they said they were out of pork and they were out of brats. Who has a fair on a Saturday and you're out of that food already? So anyway, <laughs> I was not happy with that one bit. 
So I think next week we'll see how the weather is and see how our schedule goes. We might go to a different one and hopefully we'll have a better experience at that one. Right now I want to go back here in the woods. This is on the side of the property. So if you're looking at the front of the house, the far left hand side, I want to go and find that property line. There's an old fence line that's most of it's all down. You know, it was the kind with the wooden posts years ago. And actually talking to the neighbors, our property is an additional 10 to 20 feet on the other side of it. So, but I'm not worried about that. I just want to mark where the, where the old fence line was and then keep a, eventually cut a four wheeler trail on this side that goes all the way down. It'll be fun for running the four wheelers on there. And there's also a bunch of maple trees out here that I just never had a chance to get to. And that'll just be one more opportunity to get in there and if I want to tap them to get some sap to make more syrup. And right now I'm just gonna go in there and put some of this tape on some trees where the fence line is. I've been in there several times, but it's hard to find it. And at least this isn't red, at least I can see this. If the bugs get too bad, I will just uh, do this another time. So here the fence is up and it's got the old barbed wire and then it also has somebody that must have lived here put up that square stuff. I call it pig wiring even though it's not strong enough for that but you can see the old barbed wire down there. This part's easy but when you get up there it's falling down and in some places you lose track of it. And then I have to figure out where to put the trail because you're not going to want to cut down any big trees. Well, Melissa's out on the buggy and she tried to go through on the other trail and she said that there's a tree down. So I've got my handsaw. I'm going to go cut that out so she can drive through. Come on, Joni. Wonder why that tree blew down. I mean, it's alive and everything. I know. Hasn't really been any major storms, or I mean, there was some wind. Of, I mean, we were just through here. Right. Huh. I'll yep. cut it out. Well, coming in this way is pretty easy. The field is out there. Come right around through here, it's pretty flat. I'm trying to find areas that are fairly flat because it gets real bumpy back here and it's hard for the buggy to go. And then I find with these orange things, I thought I could see them good, but I can't. Like, um, uh, I know I've got some more out there. I have to put them really close because I don't see them in any distance at all. So I got one here, and then I went see inside and uh, came back this way. I thought, oh, there's one right there. Okay, so then I moved it over here because it's flatter here and then okay there's one i'm trying to eliminate i don't even know if you could see it but like this dips down and goes back up where if i stay over here it stays more on higher ground there's one
Oh, there's one right there in front of me. <laughs> This one here, I figure I need to cut this tree down. But if we back up from this a little bit, these are all maple trees in here. So I think I'm gonna get a, if you looked here, see how it's kind of open? And it's not that far up over there to the other trail. But I could make one that cuts in here and connects with this because I could get in here. These are big enough to tap. But when I walk through here, let's see if I can find it again. There was, oh, right here. I was walking through and almost tripped. There's another fence line here that goes right through that tree. So I'll steer clear of that. I don't know. Yeah, it just kind of goes under right there. So it's funny though, once the four wheelers and whatever start driving on this, that'll work up some and then I have to come out here and cut the wire. I think I'm just gonna walk through a little bit here, not mark anything, because this gets thick. Not thick like it was when I was doing those other trails. Here again, we've got these, it goes down and then back up. So I'm thinking of, it's the, it doesn't change, it gets even worse over here. So I think I'm just gonna go right through here, that's why I marked this one, and then you can just kind of straddle this and go through. There's that one, and you can see I'm going pretty much right along the fence line, which is right there. But here now I'm running into trees that are bigger than I like to cut. <sighs> Let's see. There's the tree that's down. That's off, that's a pretty big bump right there. Maybe I need to move that over here some. I just walked up farther and then come back and it's like, well, I might just have to cut those two trees out of there. It's a shame. And then I look up, both those trees are dead. I shouldn't say that, this one is dead. That one is still kicking, but it's just a popple tree, so I'm not too worried about that. because that's gonna give me a straight shot to this. <laughs> Where is that fence line at? There it is, there's the fence right there. Now we're probably 50 or 60 feet farther. Look at those nice maple trees there. We're still not, it's pretty bumpy right there, but over here it's not bad. Where is the fence? This is one of them spots where I lost it. Oh, there it is. I can see it right down there. You know, you come out and just walk in the woods like this and this would be a nice little spot to have a picnic table underneath the maple trees. Get it eaten alive by bugs when you're having your lunch. <laughs> Here the fence is a little bit more recognizable for a little ways. You wonder how many years ago somebody put that post in, strung all that barbed wire. Probably wasn't all treed back then. Another nice maple right there just on this side of the fence line. I bet this is making for boring video. <laughs> Me thinking out loud, oh wow, look at the size of this birch, or not birch, look at the size of that maple tree. I think I'm gonna swerve it over this way a little bit, get underneath this, because it's pretty, and then just shoot straight through here. Our goal is to get out to the, where the woods end so we can shoot out into that when it's wet swampy area and I can hook up with the trail that I've got going along the back fence line. Uh, pine tree over there when I'm out on the back part and I didn't mean fence line I meant the property line. You can see that pine tree that's where I figured that the the lot line was when I'm looking on my 
app that shows the property boundaries, but it's actually, I'm gonna try to find that fence. I don't know where they would have ended it going this direction, but I'll see if I can pick it up again. Here's a post. Still got some barbed wire right there. There's some more. It is pretty much going right towards that pine tree. I guess I'm a little bit on this side of it. I'm gonna look at my app and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna walk out there to the, to the end of these woods. Okay, so there's a fence post over there. Huh, look at all the blueberry bushes here. Okay, so this fence is still going. And there's that pine tree, so I was pretty darn close. If the neighbor said that the actual property line is over here, that pine tree is just about the actual line. That's gonna be a real pain getting through there. Okay, well, at least I know I can get down here without uh, any humongous obstacles. Mosquitoes are eating me alive. I'm gonna head over to the trail that already is cut in here and get back the easy way. All right, there's the one that I had that goes out there that this one doesn't get used much. And this is the trail that we use all the time. We come back in here and I have that tree tapped and a couple tapped back there and then all the way down the line. That's as far as we go <laughs> until I get the chainsaw in here. Yep, that was not going to get out of my way. <laughs> I think I'll go a little bit to the left of that. I was heading for that first orange marker right there. Well, before I ran into that stump, the check engine light was on on the four wheeler. It went off now. Everything's good. Well, if it wasn't almost a quarter to eight, I'd grab my chainsaw and go start cutting tonight. That's what I feel like doing, but it can wait. Tomorrow at two o'clock, I'll have to head back down to the camper. That sucks because I'm excited now to do that trail. Good morning everybody. Last night it got down to 45.7 degrees. Another uh, 7 degrees or 8 degrees cooler and uh, I'd have been worried about frost in low-lying areas. Melissa is still asleep, so I thought I would just come out and pull some of this thistle, a few of these weeds. It's hard to do the tall grass because you have to kind of wait till after it rains so you can get the roots up with it. Otherwise, you're just breaking it off at the surface, which is really doing nothing. 
last time I was doing this, it would come out, the whole thing would come out, but the soil was a little bit uh, not quite as dry that day. Well, I got all the thistle out of there, all the goldenrod out of there. Oh, I see one goldenrod on the far side I gotta grab. So that'll be good. I got some of the smaller stuff in the middle here, but I uh, can't spend all day here. I gotta leave in a few hours. When I was up at the tent, I grabbed the empty water jugs, brought them back here. You know, a month, month and a half, it'll start to be busy time at the tent, and I want to get all my fresh water up there. And I'm just getting my boiling pots put in here where they're supposed to go, so I don't have to search for them next time. Chunky, come here. You're on camera. Show everybody your ball.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.